Hey, guess what? It's ski season again. We are getting ready to go. We have five people in this family, three kiddos, and we're ready to start skiing. We're in the Colorado area. It's November, Keystone just opened, so I am ready to do this. In order to get started, we gotta put our ski rack on. It's always kind of a challenge at the beginning of the season, getting stuff back on, getting ready to go, and figuring out what you're gonna do. So, if that's what you wanna do, stick with me. We'll put this ski rack on. I've got a Thule on the bottom. I've got a Yakima on top. Concept's pretty much the same based on what you're using. And we'll jump right into it here now. Now these Thule racks are not cheap. Not cheap in the least, but they're absolutely worth it. As you can see with my Yukon Denali, I've got this little C channel. I was really worried about this initially. I kind of prefer to have things that will go wrap all the way around, but I've been pleasantly surprised. So before you get them all set up and lined in, you wanna make sure, of course, that they are wide enough to fit your bindings. And then as you start to clamp down these little C channels, make sure that it gets very close and wrapped around, as you can see here, on the inside of that little bevel there. That will make sure that it's nice and tight. Brom is giving me a hand today as we work forward. And you can hear that yeah. click. That is what you want. Don't go any tighter than that. Yeah. That tool is designed exactly for that. Make sure to slide that cap on. You can, of course, lock this off. I don't necessarily do so, but it can be beneficial. Okay, now that we've got that on, here's my Yakima. I like these, they're nice and low profile again. And they also help because they are specifically easy to put on and off. So you can see I've used them before, but we're just going to get those loosened up and placed right onto the system. So, as you can see right here, I'm just gonna loosen these up. And I'm going to unscrew and you might need to just give it a quick little pull up like that. There it goes. Okay, so this loosens up and you just pop straight open like this. Set it on there. I usually like to make it nice and close to this side since the car's nice and tall, I'll be able to reach it better. So I'm move it around. Just come straight in like this. Snaps straight on. Perfect. And then now, if you watch this little gray piece, that will clamp down. Snaps, and you're locked in. Let's go and replace it on that side. Okay, now that they're on, let's test it with our big skis and the little skis, make sure they fit and I don't have to adjust. Perfect. Moment of truth for Allegra skis. Oh. Maybe. Nice. So, big skis fit. Obviously for Allegra's, for Allegra's, it's not poking out, but they are in there. So the likelihood of this going anywhere is zero in my humble opinion, especially when I have this locked down. So there you have it. Putting on a ski rack, not too bad. All right, so what'd you think? I'm excited to get up there, do some skiing, this is gonna be a fantastic year. The snow is flying already, even though it's a La Nina year, but hey, we'll see how it goes. So, if you have any questions about this, put them in the comments below. If there's anything you think I should have done better, let me know that as well. You also can take a look. We're gonna have a, another video that you can check right here. And if you wanna stick with me and all content for dads so we can do better, win more, live and give more for our children, Keep in mind this channel and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Appreciate it. All right, good time to go.